Hey team, Justin with Managed by Stats. In this video, we're gonna be setting up our very first seller mail rule. Let's get started. When you first click on seller mail, this is the screen you're going to see. Activate your free seller mail plan by clicking down here. This is the plan right here that's going to be activated. With a standard monthly subscription, you get a thousand email sends per month. If you need to send out more emails, you can always upgrade to any of these plans here. Once you've activated your seller mail plan, the first thing you need to do is set up a profile. Click on profiles. Add, put in the sender name, the sender email, and if you've got a logo, add that here. Now we recommend you start off with a logo width of about 350 pixels, because in email, you don't wanna be taking up the entire screen, because too wide is never a good thing. When you add the send from email address, you need to make sure that that's an approved sender in Seller Central. So let me show you what that looks like. You go into messages, messaging permissions, and add an email address if it's not already there. Now that we've added our sender name and our email address, click add and you can go on to the next step which is setting up your very first email rule. Now just to reiterate, email rules are the parameters that you put in place that tell MBS when to send emails to your customers. All right, let's go ahead and add a new rule. We're gonna use one of our templates for the sake of ease. First thing you wanna do is select the template. I'm gonna go with shipped, any concerns let us know. You can see that it's pre-filled the email subject and the content and the logo is right there. Now this right here is called a token. What a token is, is a piece of code in your rule that tells MBS go locate this information which is stored somewhere else in Managed by Stats and display it in the email. For instance, the customer name, the customer order, etc. In this case, the logo. Now the next thing to do is choose the sender. This is gonna tell Managed by Stats which profile you want us to use when sending the email out. The status we're going to leave as test because we're not ready for it to send out. The message name is internal. In this case, it's pulled over from the template, but you can set it to whatever you want. In this next section, you tell Managed by Stats when to send the email. In this case, how many days after it's either purchased, shipped, out for delivery, which is only good for fulfillment by Amazon, delivered, or refunded. If you set this to zero, it goes out as soon as we have the data. In this next section, you tell Managed by Stats which SKUs or ASINs that you want this email to be associated with. In this case, we want this email to send out to all of the Ferocious brand. Now you should know that if you're a new seller and you only have one SKU, you can actually leave this section blank and leaving it blank will default to sending to all orders. Now what we wanna do is scroll down and click add. Your most recently saved email will add to the bottom. Double click it to open it up, and now you can click on save and send test sample. What that's going to do is send it to the test sample email address that you set up when you were setting up your profile. Let's get back. You can also click on save and preview and that's gonna give you an instant look of what your customer is going to receive. Now that you've tested it and previewed it, it's time to set the status to active. Click save and you are done. With that, you now know how to set up a basic email rule. And when your customers order from you, they're gonna get your emails because if they don't order from you, they're not your customers. In the next video, we're gonna cover some advanced features and a particularly good one, how to set up automatic review requests, which you're definitely going to want. I'll see you there. What are you still doing here? Go watch the other video. Privacy, please.